We all have assets. They might be physical, like money or property. They might be less visible, such as copyright or personal data. For example, health records. We currently trust many third-party institutions to store and transmit our assets. These include banks, government agencies, and social media companies. For example, we deposit our money in banks and instruct them to make and receive payments. The financial system provides both the technical means to move money around and makes it hard for people to cheat. But some people think this method is inefficient. Third parties charge for their services. Payments can take days to complete. Centrally stored data is a magnet for hackers. Our data can be secretly used in ways that harm us. And in some countries, citizens are vulnerable to state surveillance. But is there an alternative? A digital system called Distributed Ledger Technology, or DLT, promises to have the answer. It's designed to let people securely store their own data and send it straight to the intended recipient, bypassing intermediaries. DLT is also designed to keep track of who owns what, even when assets are changing hands. So how does it work? DLT uses the principle of decentralization. Rather than concentrate data in a few central databases, it spreads copies to all the users within the system. This allows everyone to get a complete picture of what's going on without having to rely on intermediaries. Users collectively agree that the books balance before validating changes. Blockchain, the most well-known DLT system, is designed to prevent data tampering. Blocks of validated data are attached together in chronological order by an encrypted chain. If anyone later tries to change the data, the block detaches from the chain and everyone can see this happening. The new technology works on a small scale, but large numbers of transactions can create log jams. The intensive computing power needed to run some blockchains has raised environmental concerns. And it's been found not to be 100% hack or fraud proof. But this has not stopped many big name companies experimenting with DLT to cut out the middleman. They believe the technology can save time and money for industry. Whether by limiting DLT systems to a few authorized participants, or by creating public blockchains for everyone to use, the technology could bring about a new way to store and transact data more effectively. For centuries, people have sought to safely exchange assets with minimum fuss. Blockchain says it has the answer.